What's going on, guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. I, I honestly am wondering now. You know, uh, what is happening in the gaming world? Uh, where are we going? You know, I feel like I'm inside of a traveling sphere. There's video games everywhere around me, but we're moving through time and space to a destination that's unknown. Uh, and that's really the best way that I can describe it. Uh, Sony and Microsoft, and you know, either even Nintendo, are moving in a completely different direction than any of us would have speculated 10, 15, 20 years ago. Um, I really, really have to, you know, tip my hat to Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft has done some really amazing things with the Xbox One. Uh, and, and for all intents and purposes, the Xbox One is becoming more than a, than a gaming system. Uh, it's not what Don Matrick wanted it to be, thank God. But they have really morphed it into this thing that that's an amalgamation of a true Windows 10 PC and a home console slash Blu-ray player that plays amazing games. I mean, it's it's really becoming a fucking PC. That's the way I feel about it. And, and I don't think that's a bad thing because it still doesn't seem like a PC. It seems like a console that can do PC stuff. That's different than just turning your console into a PC, in my opinion. Now they've added a great Windows 10 program to Xbox One that I think is really awesome because it's something that I use. Read it for Reddit has hit Xbox One and it's been ported from Windows 10. It's basically the exact same thing that you get on Windows 10 and it's really, really incredible. I'll drop a link in the description. Read it is one of the best solutions for Reddit out there and now it's available on Xbox One. Developer Caleb Keefe has ported the app to the Xbox One bundled with some of the latest features that arrived in the Windows 10 anniversary update. With the latest UWP version of Read It, you can easily transfer your entire session between different Windows 10 devices, whether it's your phone, your PC, or your console. And this is really cool. There's a video in the link in the description. If you're uh, using Read It on your, your laptop and you want to transfer it to your Xbox One or vice versa or your phone, it all works seamlessly. And to me, that's totally amazing. Read It for Xbox One also allows you to remove the TV safe zone border that some apps are currently using on the console. Uh, so this is actually better on the Xbox One than it is on PC. Read it on the Xbox One is completely free without any ads and supports the vast majority of the features it has on PC. Some of the features aren't available due to UWP restrictions on the console. A few missing capabilities include image saving, live tiles, wallpapers, and lock screen features. These are missing now, but should Microsoft allow UWP support for these features in the future, they should easily be enabled for read it on the xbox one for now navigating read it on the xbox one requires the use of a joystick cursor keith has discussed using a best Pulp ux for the xbox one with inputs optimized for the controller additionally background audio support will be available in a future update for youtube videos handled by the app read it is one of the greatest examples of the power of the universal windows platform from the fact that you can transfer the state of your app between devices with a single click to the synchronizing of account information in the cloud, Reddit is easily one of the most fully featured and intuitive Reddit solutions out there and a major source of personal procrastination. If you haven't already, you can download Reddit on Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile and Xbox One now. Uh, this is really awesome, guys. And, and the application looks beautiful. I think that uh, I don't know where we're going. You know, it's one of those weird situations. I think that we're going in a great direction as long as the visionaries behind the movement are steadfast in, in where they see the console space in the, in the coming years. I think that the uh, I think that the incremental upgrades that are coming to PlayStation and Xbox are great. Uh, but I also like to see these consoles able to do more. It seems like this is the idea or the dream that Microsoft should have had. And if they had, you know, were able to convey this kind of stuff sooner... Uh, I don't think they would have the issues that they, they ended up having uh, during the initial launch of their console. But as someone who uses Reddit a lot, uh, I think this is awesome. You know, there's lots of people out there who do tons and tons of reading, watching videos and stuff. And, and this this application is going to really, really add some value and some flavor to the Xbox One. I'm really excited to see what they bring to this thing. You know, with the Windows 10 uh, update, Xbox One is looking more and more attractive and uh, I can't wait to see where we end up going. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a big Reddit fan? I love the, the true horror stories 
you know, people getting screwed over on Reddit. I just read that stuff when I'm at work. But it's always a hoot. And uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're on your Xbox One, will you be trying out the Read It application? Let me know. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.